Hello, I'm Scott Wonder. Welcome to another Wonder Woods video. In this video, I'm building a thick shelf or a mantle to put below a TV to support some stereo equipment. I got started on this project by ripping some thicker lumber into much thinner lumber and making veneers so I can wrap a plywood box that we made for the project. I've got one piece that I like pretty well It'll work in one single piece, but I need to do the bottom. And I do not have in a single piece a veneer, one that will cover the entire side. So I'm gonna to need to splice two pieces together. These just have a little bit too much sapwood and the edges kind of sanded through on the veneer. So I am going to splice two pieces, kind of like this came out as a book match, open them up, and then I'm going to lay them out to the point where I can get rid of the sap wood, and then kind of splice down those, put two pieces together. This seam is going together pretty darn good, but there's a little bit of fibers in there. I'm making a little shooting board straight board here that I ran on the joiner. Stick it, a little sandpaper. So it stays nice and flat and straight. And I can use that to true up the seams. Let me do this like that. Flip it over here. And just sand it a little bit. As I'm doing this, I can really see down the edge. Make sure it's straight. And see when I start out, there's a little bit of a gap there between the wood and the sandpaper. And just a couple you can see how fast it gets flatter and straighter. That'll be good. After I got the two pieces together, I taped them up and then folded them back so I could apply some tight bond one to the seam. Like that. Do that, and then Flip it over. Make sure it's flat. While I'm spreading out this contact cement, which goes on both pieces, by the way, it goes on the mantle and then it goes on the veneer piece I'm going to put on it and we let it dry while I'm doing that I turn on the exhaust fan behind me because this is very fumey when applying the contact cement I put two coats on everything so I put a coat on let it dry and then put another coat on and then let it dry so I've got this set in place with little sticks in there 
And then we can start taking the sticks out. roll it out and trim it up. I'm using a flush cutting trim bit to trim this. It's a router bit with a straight cutter and then a bearing right there to ride along the cut. And I am doing a climb cut, which means the router bit spinning this way and I'm going that way so that anything that it grabs and wants to tear out it can't because it's pushing down into strong wood. If I went the other way, the bit's coming up like this, and I'll want to grab that and tear it out. And this curly walnut will definitely probably tear out, so I'm not going to risk it. over this is the second side and this is the piece of veneer that I glued up that's gonna go on this side just need to untape it get the contact cement on it and do it just like the other side I've got one spot right here just this little spot right this long where the veneers aren't lined up when I glued them up I missed a spot the glue set up now and it's really hard so you can't just push it down so i'm just going to re-split it with a knife i can push it down put it together still look pretty good After I route it, to stay on my little block, keep it nice and flat and straight. I've got the three sides wrapped, and I'm doing the ends. And these pieces weren't long enough to do the ends in a waterfall, so I had to go to the next piece of veneer. So I book mash it, opened it up, and then found the closest match I could to continue this around. So. This is going to go right about here. That's going to be that piece. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. I got everything sanded I blew off the dust and then sealed it with a coat of quick dry vinyl sealer from ML Campbell I sanded to 320 in between the coats and then finished it with Magnolac also from ML Campbell
Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. And if you like what you saw, hit the like button. Thanks. We'll see you next time.